What's up, scrubs? Welcome back, BG Mike here, uh, to another episode of Doki Doki Exit Music. Now, last episode was was insane, and I don't know. I think we might be finishing it soon. I meant it when I said I wanted to know as much as you guys wanted to know what the heck is gonna happen next, and probably a lot of you guys already know. I don't know. I actually avoid checking the comment section so I don't get spoiled. Without further ado, let's go ahead and do it. This knock scared me so bad because it was like. I just so unexpected. It's got to be her dad. Like, right? Everyone's singing the same thing. It's got to be her dad. No wonder. Natsuki, you're okay. It's okay. I get it. Natsuki doesn't meet my eyes. So, so she's just so scared because, like, she obviously is having such a great time and, and everything's great. Like, why would she want... She would never want to go back to that. Like, and I don't want to see her go back to that, quite frankly. She looks embarrassed and I can't help but feel bad. I'll be right back, okay? I leave Natsuki on the couch heading to the doorway. I peer through the peephole. Who is that? It's late. I can't make out who- Oh, you don't open the door! I swear, do not open the door without knowing who it is. Like, obviously it could be her dad. Another few hard pounds ring through my house. I can hear Natsuki whimper. I turn the deadbolt but leave the chain on. Oh, just in case. I don't think that's gonna stop him. Oh, it was Sayori? Oh my god. So we- <laughs> Oh my god. Hello? Hi, Skropai. Sayori? What's that smell? What smell? It's your breath. It smells like wine. I know you have heard here, so I'll make it quick, but I just wanted to let you know that I've been prescribed some medication that should help with my... my rain clouds. So you don't need to worry about me anymore, scrub pie. I know what... I know that's what you wanted. Sayori, it's not like that. Natsuki peeks around the corner to the door. Sayori? Hey! Why was she knocking so hard? I... I thought for sure it was the dad. I really did not know. I'm glad you're okay. How'd you- Natsuki, I just came over to talk to Skropai about something serious. Can we have some privacy, please? Oh, okay, so it gets really awkward. Well, okay. I guess I'll just clean this mess up while you two wa- uh, go then. Natsuki retrieves a towel from the kitchen and disappears to the living room once again. Oh yeah, she like dropped something, right? I'm surprised that- I'm surprised she took Sayuri's attitude so well. Maybe she just doesn't want to upset her. So what is it? Yeah, I mean, because you don't want to- she knows this is the- she knows the situation, right? She doesn't want to like, make Sayuri more sad or whatever. Scrubpie, since I've put on, been put on this medication, I've been thinking a lot more clearly than usual. And well, I think you should break things off with Natsuki. Oh well, of course you do! What? Why? Because I loved you first and you threw me to the side. It's not fair. All I needed is to see you happy. And now that things are getting better, I think I can do that. Sayuri, you know I can't just... Why not? Why does she have- What does she have that I don't? Oh, that's cliche, right? Is it because you found me with the noose in my hand? Is it because you really do hate me like I always thought? Give me a reason, because I'm not leaving until you do. I mean, I mean, I, I guess she deserves a reason, but like the reason is like we just don't. Like that's it. That's Sayuri. You've been my best friend for years. I know this is going to hurt, but that's all we've ever been. Don't you think that if we brought feelings into this, it would ruin what we have? Oh, she's crying. I don't want to ruin the longest relationship I have over a relationship with someone else. You have to understand where I'm coming from, right? Sayuri wipes the tears from her cheeks. My chest feels like it's in a vice. Sayuri, you mean the world to me, but I'm just not willing to risk losing you over this. Sayuri, please say something. She turns away, taking a step off the porch. Wait! I grab her arm and pull her back. Oh my god, let me- <laughs> It's because like, it's so hard! We care for her, but just not in that way! What's so hard to understand about that? So mad! Not yet. Just let me go! I got my answer. Well, I wasn't finished. Sayori resists for a few more moments, eventually giving in. Sayori, you're my best friend. You've changed my life so much since we met. Every one of my memories involve you. Every birthday, every Christmas, every summer, the club, everything. Sayori, I don't want to lie to you. That's why I'm gonna tell you this now. I need to put this to rest. I love you, but not in the way that you love me. It's just platonic. Why has this got to be so difficult? I... She reaches into her pocket with hand and gulps two small capsules? Uh, you're supposed to be taking them now, right? Yeah. I was met to a couple hours ago. I'm sorry, I really can't think straight. She leans- so she wasn't taking her medicine and that's why she's like this? She leans her other hand against the door to support herself. Sayuri? You alright? No, I'm not- oh my god. Okay, that's a little much. Scrubpie, I love you so much, but- but- She takes a deep breath. You make me sick. I'm going home. I don't protest. Instead, I silently watch as she storms down the street to her house and closes her front door behind her. Wordlessly, I let myself back into the house. Natsuki's waiting for me. So, what was that? 
I could hear her shouting something. She was just upset that I didn't love her. She wanted me to break up with you. Natsuki shakes her head, glass of wine in her hand. I kind of feel bad because it isn't her fault, but she can't just demand to break it off with me because she wants you. It's not fair to try and ruin our relationship like that. I know. <laughs> well, there's some good news at least. What was it? Well, she got let out of the hospital, ye hospital yesterday. Can't talk. She's been prescribed some pills. Well, that's good. I just hope that they'll help her. I know I was rude about Sayuri earlier, but I do care about her, you know? There wasn't a doubt in my mind, not- I just guess you were probably a little shocked by it. Wait, did you call me Nat? <laughs> yeah, I was like, what, what was that too? Um, yeah? I give her a weak smile. My head is swimming. <laughs> the drink is really starting to kick in. I- <laughs> I like it. <laughs> you do? Yeah. She giggles some more. I can't help but join in. I can't- I can barely stand. I feel like I could pass out any moment. I don't even know what that it's- I don't even know if it's late. Either way, I need sleep. Uh, do you want to go to bed now? Well, it's kind of late, but I guess I'd be happy to, you know? Oh, I meant to bed literally, silly. Oh my god, wow, 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 wow. Let's keep this family friendly, okay? Okay, thank you very much. She keeps her eyes locked on me. I didn't. Oh, right, well, if you meant it like that, uh, okay. <laughs> family friendly time! <laughs> the sunlight creeping through the blinds forces me awake. The light burns in my eyes. Groggily, I gently release myself from Natsuki's arms. Peering at the clock, I realize it's almost midday. I, I mean, we're just seriously bums, honestly. We don't do anything. <laughs> how do we- how's this house paid for? Huh? Who's paying this rent? I mean, I gotta side with Monica on this one. Like, we should be doing things. We can't just be like this all the time. Like, we could at least go to school together. I stand at the foot of the bed, putting my stuff on, my clothes. I leave our room as quickly as possible, or quietly, sorry. Headed downstairs, I hear a faint knock on the door. I head over, taking a glance through the peephole. I see a carrier walking back to his van. I don't remember ordering anything. I open the door and see a small box he delivered. I take it back to the kitchen, inspecting the label. It's from my mom. I haven't had- okay, well, maybe we'll hear about how this is paid for. I'm sure it's his parents. I haven't had anything sent from her in ages. She hardly has been able to respond to my texts or calls. Although having the house to myself was quite nice. I wish she hadn't moved across the country for work. Moving to the counter, I started to boil with some coffee. I take my box cutter knife and slice this- or basically just opening it. Oh, so there's a note. Oh. Son, I know it's been a while since we've spoken, and for that I apologize. Your father and I have been promoted at our firms, making our schedules much stricter, which means I have been totally unable to return your calls. On top of this, our promotions have made our positions here permanent. While we're gone, the house will now be your responsibility entirely to look after. I hope that you will have a chance to visit us when the school year is over. We do miss talking to you, and I'm sure this will be long overdue. I spoke with Sayuri's mother about what happened today. I'm terribly sorry that you had to see what you did, but we're both extremely proud of you for how you handle it. So consider this a gift from uh, your father and I. I hope to see you soon. Love, mom and dad. Okay, so I guess they really trust us? I mean, we are 18 technically, so I guess that's not too much uh, out of the question. We're basically like seniors, right? I wonder how they'll react when I tell Natsuki's living with me. Who am I kidding? They'll just be happy I finally have a girlfriend. I remove off the white box from its packaging. I'm faced with a smaller green package. That must have been quite the promotion. I delicately flip it open uh, the lid. The watch is glare. Oh, it's a glare. It's a watch. Hey. Oh, wow, scrub pie, huh? Who's that from? My parents. Whoa. Natsuki can't take her eyes off the box. I can't blame her. The golden face and uh, band are enough to entrance anyone. So it's a really expensive watch. All right. So do your parents usually send you such fancy gifts? Not like this, but they got promotions, I guess. Where are they anyway? Well, they both had to move because of their jobs last year. They're fine with letting me stay here until I'm done with high school. After that, I basically got to get a job ASAP. For now, though, they've sent a weekly allowance that gets transferred to me just for groceries and other stuff. It's nothing too crazy, but it's enough not to go hungry, I guess. As those words exit my mouth, I realize what I've said. Crap. Oh. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I forgot the situation that she used to be in. <laughs> Natsuki squirms a bit in her seat, but doesn't seem all that bothered. Yeah, I figured. I don't really know what my dad... Well, what he does. He'd usually, he'd usually be gone by the time I woke up for school. Kind of weird, huh? Not even knowing where the money comes from. I don't want to dwell on the subject for much longer. After all, I don't want to taint our day together with the thoughts about the piece of piece of... We'll stop that there. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> listen, did you want to do something special today? Not exactly the smoothest subject change, but Natsuki's eyes widen with, wi with my words. Like what? I was thinking we could go on a proper date. What do you mean? I want to take you out to do something. Just the two of us. How's that sound? Oh, well that sounds great, Scrub Uh, what do you have in mind? Well, 
There was a cafe not too far from here and the pastries were delicious. I was thinking we can go back to the cafe. I really like that place like you uh, did as well. Yeah, it was really nice except for the whole crazy Yuri part. Wanna get ready then? Uh, yeah, sure. Natsuki immediately slides out of her chair and books it upstairs. I can't help but laugh. She's genuinely adorable. I take her mugs to the sink and await Natsuki's return. She's in the bathroom probably fixing her hair or something. I put on the fresh pants and shirt. I still have a bad feeling about her being in the bathroom. I just really, really have a bad feeling about it, okay? The streets are noticeably empty even for a Sunday. I pull open the glass door to the cafe, letting Natsuki hop into the building with an expression of utter glee uh, painted across her face. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm interrupted by a hard slug into my shoulder. Ow! What the? Natsuki flashes a quick grin, winking uh, at me from the inside the building. I shake my head as I step inside. If I go find a table for us, you can go order. Yeah. Oh, scrub pie. Could you give me a couple of pastries I had last time? I really like them. Okay, sure. Okay, so basically, I was thinking Natsuki was pregnant, but she was drinking wine, so no, she's not. Like, I don't know, it just seems weird. She keeps, they keep mentioning how she's gonna go to the bathroom, you know? Okay, sure. Anything else? Maybe a drink, too. Something sweet. Natsuki sits our, uh, herself on the booth next to the cafe, or back, in the back of the cafe. I order both of us some pastries, getting Natsuki a glass of orange juice. After I place her order, I head both to... I head to the booth Natsuki chose for us. As I walk towards her, I can't help but notice that the cafe is rather empty for this time of day. Must be because... Must be because it's Sunday. Regardless, I take a seat to the opposite of her. So, didn't you say a couple of nights ago you were gonna head out and buy us a new volume of Parfait Girls? The latest one? It's a bit pricey, don't you think? Well, yeah, I guess. I mean, what? Mom is like... Ten... Ten... Is it ten dollars? I don't know. I don't know when to look. <laughs> it's like ten bucks, probably. I just assumed you had enough to get it. You know, with the watch, your parents, I do have enough, you know. I'm just a bit cautious about how I... Natsuki scoffs sarcastically. <laughs> You're just putting it off reading it with me, aren't you? What? No, I'm just a little bit weary of how I actually spend my money is all. You never know when you might need it. Besides, we haven't even gotten through half of the set we have yet. I'm not really into rush to buy it now. I'll probably be another week before we finish off this volume. I guess. I will get around to it, though. Promise? Promise. I mean, we gotta, we gotta keep doing the activities that we like, right? And that's how we really, like, bonded in the first place. The barista calls out an order. Give me a second. Uh, exiting the booth, I make my way to the counter where the barista is busy taking someone else's order. They left two small plates with a pastry each on the counter. The glass of juice is next to it. Seeing as I haven't paid yet, I leave a note covering the bill in place of our order. I pick up the plates in one hand and the glass in the other. I always thought that was really weird that people could, like, do that. I don't know, I just- I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. Like, what if they steal the money or something? You know what I mean? Like, someone else? As I return to the table, Natsuki immediately snatches- snatches her pastry. <laughs> I love these things! I'd have guessed! Natsuki's already wolfed down the whole thing in a few quick bites. That's totally me, though! Honestly, I, I eat so fast, I feel like. Like, I eat like I, I haven't eaten in ages. That's what it feels like sometimes. Natsuki, her eyes wild with excitement, leans over to the table and tries to take him. No! Back off! <laughs> I instinctively pull back, holding the pastry out of reach. Hey, leave mine alone! Fine. She returns to her seat, I return to mine. Hurriedly, I munch down on the rest of the pastry quickly. As I do, Natsuki snaps her right for a moment at the sound of the door swinging open. Just another guess. So yeah, like, she sounds like she's really jumpy and really, like, scared. You know, kind of always watching her back all the time. And, and I get it. It's totally, you know... I, I feel like it's... it's it would be normal, especially her situation. Thanks, Scrub Pie. It's no problem. Anything for you. She grins at me. A few awkward moments pass as she gulps down her orange juice in silence. Ready to go? Just about, yeah. We both slip out of the booth simultaneously and uh, neatly stack the plates with the glass and the glass for the barista. I hold open the door for her. We make our way out of the street and hand in hand. Okay, it's a nice little date. Nothing, nothing really particular happening yet. As we approach the door, Natsuki stops me. Scrub Pie, thanks for taking me out. It really means a lot to me. I love you. I love you too. The two of us enter the house and head to the living room. Natsuki takes the remote and finds a show to watch. Okay, just another normal day. Hey, are you hungry yet? I look at the clock somehow hours pass without my knowledge. Not really, are you? Nah, I ate way too much at the cafe. I'm a little thirsty though. You want us to fix a drink or want me to fix a drink? <laughs> huh? You want to fix a drink? Natsuki nudges her leg and removes her head from my shoulder. Yeah, thanks. I enter the fridge, take one of the remaining bottles of wine, and pour the bo Oh, that's what you mean by thirsty. It's not- That does not quench your thirst at all, okay? No bottle service today? No, we both have school tomorrow. If we hadn't missed the majority of last week, I'd be more than happy to drink the whole thing. I can't imagine tomorrow will be an easy day. You're right. Oh yeah, so we're gonna start school like on in, in, in Monday, basically, I think is what we're doing. I think, what is it? Sat is it Saturday or Sunday right now? 
It's too bad we can't just keep bunking off. I know, it'll be hard to get used to attending classes again. Like, how much homework are we gonna have? <laughs> we finished our glasses of wine, watch a few more shows, and head upstairs. I think I'm just gonna shower now that I'll- it'll save a bit time in the morning. Yeah, sometimes I do that too. That's rare for me to do it though. Natsuki heads to the ensuite bathroom while I uh, head to the main. I decide to wait for Natsuki before I pull the covers over. Scru okay. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that for you guys, okay? YouTube is gonna hate me. Just unexpected, okay? <laughs> oh, scrap pie. <laughs> I can hardly see her in the moonlight. Okay, so now it's Monday. Ah, oh, crap. I can feel Natsuki staring beside me, her outstretched arms brush uh, my shoulder. I yawn, mouth wide open. What's up? We're gonna be late, dummy! We gotta get going! She clambers out of the bed and I hear my bedroom uh, door slam shut. I wrench my eyes open and rise from my bed. Uh, go where? School! Oh yeah, that's right, we have to do that. Crap! I begin hastily ransacking my drawers in an effort to find my uniform. Yeah, like, I, I, what the best thing to do is to have your clothes ready the night before, that way you don't have to worry about that, because it does save a lot of time. <laughs> little, little tip there, guys, huh? I quickly throw on my pants and shirt followed by my tie. Natsuki emerges tying the ribbon on her, her uniform. It seems like the girls have like a lot to put on, you know what I mean? Oh, it's like before she has the thing on. Yeah, we never really get to see them like that. It's pretty cool. Scrub pie, do you know where my jacket is? Not a clue. Ah, uh, dang it. I pull the jumper over my head followed by my own blazer. You want mine? It'd be massive on me. Thanks, but not really. All right. I just hope I don't get told off. I doubt it. Just don't worry about it, okay? I rush downstairs, Natsuki right behind me. Putting my shoes on, I swing the front door open. Come on! Yeah, I'm coming. Slamming the door behind us, we rush to school. I wonder how it's gonna be today. I mean, is Yuri gonna be there? Like, seriously. <laughs> we made it on time, thank God. Walking through the courtyard, we part ways with a light kiss as we depart to our separate lessons. Monica's like, no PDA! <laughs> See you later! Love you! Aww. I notice a couple of students whispering and pointing in our direction. Yeah, so they they know. They, they're they like, oh, hey, they're together. I hurry through the corridors towards my first lesson. As I turn the corner, I bump into someone nearly knocking them backward. The flash of purple- oh no, it's Yuri. Oh, sorry! <laughs> oh, hi, Skrupai. It's fine. I was hoping to see you, actually. You see, we need to talk. I don't- I don't think now's the time, Yuri. I've got a lesson to get to. So do you- right? I suppose. But I wouldn't mind too much if I missed it. Besides, this is important. We'll talk later, okay? At the club. I try to walk over as she grabs my arm to stop me. Hey! <laughs> this needs to be private. Just the two of us. Seeing that there's not much of a chance of escaping this, I accept it. Fine. But make it quick. She beckons me along into a vacant classroom. Oh no. She practically barges down the door with excitement, dragging me aside. She locks it behind us. Why are you- Sit there. I reluctantly take a seat. On one of the desks. What the heck is she playing at? You see, Scrub Pie, I needed you alone because I don't know how else to say it. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. Well, what a shocker, honestly. <laughs> there, I said it. I just need you to know. I don't care if that immature child is listening. Oh, are you talking about Natsuki? Scrub Pie, you don't want to be with her. Believe me. She's a, oh. I'm sorry, what did you say about, about a, a, my nut? <laughs> nut? Don't say that about not! She doesn't really love you, not like I do. These girls need to back off! God! What happens to her is entirely her fault. She doesn't deserve someone as brilliant as you. You know that you can do better. And I'm right here, Scrapai. I want you to be with me and only me. No! I'm with Natsuki. I love her. That isn't going to change. Scrapai, oh. I'm gonna have to censor this one. <laughs> you know you want to, so just let me- Yuri reaches out to grab my tie, pulling me towards her. Hey! Get off of me! The feeling of helplessness is in inescapable. She sho <laughs> shocked, I shove her back, knocking her into the desk. Her momentum slides uh, it back a little, but it comes to a halt quickly. Oh, Scrub Pie, why would you prefer a little girl when a woman is standing right in front of you? Trust me, Scrub Pie, I could treat you much better. All I'm asking for is a chance to show you. Can you at least give me that? No, <laughs> no, I can't. That's that's uh, I'm not a cheater. Just leave me alone. I know you saw my picture, Scrub Pie. <laughs> I know you liked them. I know that that was just something you you really liked. That's why you said that your phone was malfunctioning. You wanted me to take more for you. <laughs> Clearly, that was it. So why are you turning me down right now? She edges uh, forward. Yuri's uh, getting a little too close. Which one is your Which one is your favorite? Oh well, I personally like no. I bet it's the one with the heart. <laughs> 
<laughs> I saw that in your eyes, you know, you know when I when I see you in the halls I knew I knew by the look that there was a twinkle in your eye And it told me that you like the one with the heart at the cafe I know you want me. There's no need to hide it anymore. So come on take what's yours. She's like it's not gonna be here all day <laughs> Yuri reaches out uh, to her shirt and begins to unbutton. Oh no, she's trying to seduce us. Yuri, that's enough. Really, cut it out. I reach out and grab her hands to stop her from unbuttoning the shirt any further. Why, scrub pie? Afraid you'll give in? No, no, no not at all. Oh, hey, I, <laughs> I didn't think they would actually do that. That looks legit though, you know? Yuri inches towards the wall, still unbuttoning the shirt. Stop, how many buttons do you have? Yuri, I told you to stop. I grab her arms and shove her against the classroom wall. Oh, now, now here we go. This is not gonna help us any- Oh, God. You know that someone's about to walk in, like... You know? I, I can just see it happening. I didn't know you liked to be so re- No! Enough! Turning for a second, I see a blurred face on the window. I knew this was gonna happen, you know? I, it's so stupid. Like, I knew it. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me right now, guys? This is so stupid! I'm absolutely sick of her attitude. I'm not gonna get- I'm not gonna bother being polite anymore. Oh! Oh my god, okay, yeah, we're making it very clear now that we are- this is not our thing. You're an obsessive, bullying, narcissistic- bad word. And you're lucky I won't tell anyone about this. Just stay the heck away from me, you hear? And stay away from Natsuki too, because if you don't, they're gonna know about these. I motion towards my arms. Or her arms. Wait. Her arms, whatever. You understand? I- why scrub pie? I let go of her and make a break for the door, suspiciously wide open. Scrub pie, wait! I sprint through, uh, running as fast as I can towards my classroom without looking back. So the question now was, who was through the the door? Was it was it Natsuki? Was it Sayori? Was it Monica? I have a feeling it's gonna be Natsuki, like worst case scenario. But I have absolutely no freaking idea. <laughs> but until next time, today's scrub of the day goes to. Isaac Oline! My childhood is dying slowly. Hey, so is, so is, I mean, isn't all of our childhood dying slowly? I mean, well, mine, mine already died. I felt like it died a long time ago, but <laughs> sorry, we're not, we're not gonna get too depressing here, okay? <laughs> Guys, if you enjoyed this series, as always, leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you salads in the next one. Bye, guys. Scrub me. Scrub me. Scrub me.